In this video, today we will give a review on the Hollywood movie Gnomed Land. Filmmaker Klaus Zhao is a magician. I don't use that word to imply that her writing, directing and editing doesn't take great effort or that it's a cheap trick. When I call her a magician, it means that the way she is able to capture humanity without it ever feeling cheap, sentimental or mundane is nothing short of magic. I am deeply introverted person who loves my martial art possessions and yet her new film. Gnomeland tempted me into throwing it all away and hitting the open road to converse the fellow gnomes. Zhao does this not throughout romanticizing poverty or glossing over death of the American dream but by showing that our common humanity is not educated by fortunes of our economy but by the resilience and bravery of our character. <coughs> Led by a quietly empathic performance from Francis McDermott, Normland is about what comes after you have lost everything and finding that there's so much more than houses in our country. Fun, working company town of Empire, Nevada, but not long after her husband passed away, the town was rocked by the Great Rescation and discontinued after 2011. Friend decides that she should be better off living as the norm. So she packed some belongings into a van and leaves the rest in the storage facility and hits the open road. Along the way, she meets up with other encampments of fellow travelers, including real life norms Linda, May Swinky, and Bob Wells. She also keeps crossing paths with fellow and gnome Dave, who clearly has a crush on the flinty and hardworking friend. Throughout friend's journey, we see the chaining nature of America contrasted against the prominence of the West's gorgeous vistas. At first glimpse, gnome land seems like a melancholy reflection on the dead America, where homeless people scrap out a few bucks working at the Amazon shipping facility before going to sleep in their vans. The film genius is in deciding to shatter the paradigm of American dream completely to argue that the dream doesn't get to serve as a metric of a life well lived. As Fern tells one of her former students, she houseless, not homeless. Fern and her fellow gnomes have occasionally chosen to reject a system that leaves them behind, refusing to play by the rules of race the game. That doesn't mean that they are Lives are easy, a flat tire can be gastrophic and it's not like it's fun to put on a paper cat and work at a restaurant for minimum wage. Not to mention the risks of life without the healthcare but the freedom these people possess. And here it should be noted with the white cost, Normland LED is what freedom means based on a race since it's not like friend has no worry about being pulled over based on the color of her skin so her freedom is a part of our white privilege in allergy. No one is normal and asked for our piety. If anything, they probably piety those who are still chasing the American dream. I hope you like our video. If you like, then hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for a recent update. Please leave your valuable feedback in comments below and let us know how you like our video then we will make more informative videos for you our goal to introduce you to every hollywood movie and english tv series thanks for watching